you realize we're in front of the City Hall of Jerusalem. And there's a greeting for a kosher and joyous Passover. Shalom. This is the sixth day of Pesach, and uh, I'm here with uh, Rabbi Avram Feld. And uh, we, Moshe sh Pipik. Okay. <laughs> we shortly uh, want to go through the Constitutional Protection Report and uh, prove that what they wrote about us is not true. So they wrote... What they wrote about them. Yes. Yeah. About the Erbengemeinschaft Jakob E.V. Right. You can say that three times fast to get a prize. <laughs> So the Asso Association, Erbengemeinschaft Jakob E.V, Nation of Ephraim, has, according to its own statements, been active in North Rhine-Westphalia since 2017. The members present themselves as successors of the tribes of Israel from biblical times and have set themselves the goal to establish a new state in Israel based on the model of the Kingdom of David. The association thus denies the Le legitimacy of the state of Israel. Oh, it's not our experience. Listen, all religions, all isms, all new age, everyone has their own view of the end of days or the ecological perspective, right? You have 2.4 billion Christians, 1.6 billion Muslims with all kinds of debates on how things will ultimately end. But that doesn't stop anyone from recognizing a modern day state. So this group, one billion percent, recognizes the legitimacy of the state of Israel, irregardless of futuristic uh, end day times, which every group and every ism has their own vision of end day times. It's irrelevant to charge someone not recognizing a present day state they, what about American uh, evangelicals, who many are pro-Israel? They have a really uh, mixed bag of end day things, but they still recognize and are patriotic to the United States of America. Okay, so that's a nonsensical attack. And they not only recognize the legitimacy of Israel, but this group and their leader, for, their leader for 22 years and this new new people in the group for all at least seven eight years that i am familiar with them spend day and night week after week month in month out defending the state of israel that's what i think should i go yes. on I, I can go on and say uh what we've seen is, is involved in social welfare activities we saw these guys helping people who were down and out messed up unclean, mentally disturbed, some of them dangerous. We've seen their volunteers helping them with full hearts and spending money on these on street people who desperately need it. What else have we seen is that they've also been a platform for many people in the up and coming Hebrew roots movement to identify with them and become more Hebrew rooted, which led them to becoming real, real loyal friends to the state of Israel, the people of Israel. They defend Israel and defend Jews against all kinds of missionary activity. And that is a reason they're hated. Yes. Um, there's many Christians, very fine people, who hate them because they don't agree with their version of Christianity. These guys have a more Hebrew-rooted version of things, which rejects certain dogma. So as you may realize out there that some, a lot of Protestants really hate Catholics, even though the church, the Vatican II, 1964 Vatican II, has become more liberal, more open, more inclusive. So that hasn't reduced Protestant uh, anger and hatred and a sense of competition with the Catholics. So likewise, these guys, they have a more advanced in their understanding of Christianity. So, so many Christians hate their guts because of it and despise that they want to represent and defend Israel. That, that's called, I guess, that's called anti-Semitism. They're too Jewish and about, they, they don't think on a literal level. They're philosophical and interpretive. They identify with 
Jewish history, with Jewish past. They identify with our suffering, so they want to feel that they're part of our great tapestry of a redemption that God's weaving. But it's not a replacement theory, which the Christians that hate them do believe. So many of the Christians that hate these guys want to replace Israel and think Israel has been replaced. These guys are fighting that they're just would like to be a part of that great picture. So you can't take things so literally. That's also a distortion. Is there any other points we wanted to make? Yes. So in the eyes of the association, members of the Jewish religious community are considered as Zionists. Would you, so you're a member of the Jewish religious community? Would you consider yourself a Zionist or would you consider that we call you Zionist? Uh, you know, I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, we're, Zion is a biblical word. All Jews are somewhat Zionist. All Jews support the, that the land of Israel was given to the Hebrew nation to be kind and generous and just and friendly to anybody else who is not of Hebrew heritage. Um, these guys would be considered pro-Zionist, pro-Israel, pro-the land, pro-the state. Is that what we're talking about? I think But so. we could have arguments with our government. Just like you could be a loyal American or a loyal German and not agree with a, a, a certain policy and be really upset about it. But you're, you salute your country and you're patriotic to your country. Likewise, you don't know, have two Jews, three opinions. But we, you know what a, a, a ultra-Orthodox religious Jewish mom asks the kid when he comes back from school every day? Did you ask a good question? We invite argument. We invite different 70 faces to the Torah. That's a belief we have. We invite uh, discussion and, and dealing with the nuance of things in our spiritual walk with God. But yeah, these guys support people who support the land of Israel, the people of Israel, the Torah of Israel, and the state of Israel. So in the uh, public, the members appear as alleged advocates to Jewish interests and opponents of anti-Semitism. However, this supposed commitment serves only as a facade for the association. Uh, this, what did you call it? What did they call it? This what? Hmm? This? This position serves as a what? Uh, as a facade. However, this supposed commitment serves only as a facade for the association. Their whole essence is pro-Israel. It's not a front for the organization. It is who they are. They side with Israel. It's right now we're at war. These guys could have went back. I have so many Christian friends. They ran to Jordan so fast when their flights were canceled out of Israel. They flew on wings of eagles to get to Jordan to fly the hell out of here. These German guys, and they have many other ethnic groups among them. They came to Israel to stay in Israel for the duration. All right, they're yes. totally committed and their, their blood is the water of the land of Israel. Their flesh is the dust of the land of Israel. They're totally committed to the land of Israel, the people of Israel and to Jewish in, national identity forever. Forever it'll be the tribe of Judah and they believe one day they'll get all the tribes will get their acts together which that's you don't have to believe or accept but they're totally sold out to Jewish and they have tremendous respect for people who don't agree with them as well okay are we done yet after the Hamas attack on Israel, the association exploited the Middle East conflict to obtain further financial donations through supposed fundraising campaigns for the Israeli armed forces. This is supported by one side reporting with videos from Israel on the association's YouTube channel. It cannot be verified whether the reports actually come from Israel. All I can tell you is these guys are broadcasting, M many times I, s I saw them and friends of mine were sitting with them when they were broadcasting right from Israel, from Jerusalem, from Kansrim, up in the Golan, from other places. They love to broadcast, like they're really into uh, video education. So we've seen numerous times, 
over years and years, broadcasting's coming from here, and all, all of them had the common denominator of supporting Israel and asking for you people out there in television land and you two land to support Israel. Yes. I don't know what you're, why can't you identify? Like right now, you realize we're in front of the city hall of Jerusalem, and there's a greetings for a, a kosher and joyous Passover on the wall. This is not Amman, Jordan. I swear to you, this is not West Beirut or Damascus. Yes. Okay, we done yet? Erbengemeinschaft Jacobs claims to be committed to the fight against anti-Semitism. Contrary to this portrayal, however, the term anti-Semitism was instrumentalized by the association to defame press reports or government measures such as corona vaccinations, etc., oh, yeah, yeah. as being used specifically against the association and its members as non-Jews. Listen, the, there's a big debate in science. What, what is it called? Doctors and scientists proclamation that doesn't agree with the mainstream media's presentation of COVID. There's America's frontline doctors. Don't look at what this Google says about it. Go to DuckDuckGo and look what the 17,000 doctors and scientists say about the uh, certain amount of misrepresentation in the media and problems with, with something being in a clinical text, uh, test. Open up the little pamphlet on the vaccine. It says this is a clinical test. The Nuremberg laws just said people can't be experimented on as testing. So, you know, there could be debate on these topics. But uh, they're always, they have been cited with Judaism, with oral Torah, with there's no need to missionize Jews. Jews already have their path to God. And um, we, we, from our way of looking at it, we think they've been treated negatively because they support Israel, because they're vocal about it, because they don't accept all Christian doct 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 dogma and doctrine, that they became a target for an real anti-Semites, who, who, real people who hate Jews and Judaism, real people who fit, fit, are waiting for another October 7th repeated 10 million times. So they stand up for Israel, they stand up for the God's Torah, they stand up for the Jewish people, and they, don't have, they disagree with the government, as many people disagree with governments. Why do you need to have an agreement with a pharmaceutical company who has the most scandals of any other pharmaceutical company, paid billions of dollars in, because of criminal negligence, and you have to have a, agreements that are not public. When the whole world, for 40 years, I hear transparency, 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 and these are important agreements on public health are not transparent as they should be, as, as properly. So that could be a debated. But they always are siding with the Jewish people with, against missionaries. So you know how my dear beloved friends who are missionaries, do you know how pissed off they are with these guys? These guys read out... Uh, or read in or read a new certain scriptures that contradicts their theology. They hate them because of that. That's what we've seen. Okay. okay. Last, good? Thing. Last, Last thing. Last thing. <laughs> Among other things, Sunday. the eviction of the association's headquarters in Hasewinkel by the municipality in 2021 was portrayed as an attack by a corrupt system. Conspiracy ideologies surrounding the Rothschild family were also propagated. Listen, I always say about the Rothschilds, why are you guys picking on one bank? You know, one, there's like 10,000 non-Jewish big bankers, and you have a couple of these Jewish big bankers, and they're interested in promoting their bank's interests. So that's what I think about most conspiracy theories. These guys, um, can, can, they can constructive criticism against the pharmaceutical companies or banking operations is, is like constructive criticism. It's not an evil thing. It's not necessary. It could be wrong. The criticism also could be misplaced. It's nonsense. It's just what people don't agree on baseball teams, football teams. They also don't agree with the way banking organizations run the world or 
or take more authority than they have ever been given by the public. That's a different issue. What was the other point you made besides Rothschild? Uh, among other things, the eviction of the association's headquarters in Hasewinkel by a... Oh, yeah. So, if, did you see, they, didn't they send SWAT team in Yes. There? This is a public center that they were running programs that were like, you would call it social activism. You would call it uh, kindness, welfare programs, where they had lectures and a place for older people to hang out in. Or, And young people, if they wanted to hang out in, it was like a social center. Why do you need to send a SWAT team into a social welfare center or to a social activism? Where, where does that come from? Why did they need a SWAT team for? They didn't own any guns. They didn't have any long swords. They didn't have any military training going on. They had lectures, public lectures on the Bible. They had uh, public lectures on topics of interest. They had communal community activity. So how, how do you justify a SWAT team going in to vacate that place? I don't, I don't get that. So something's wrong there. And from an outsider's view, maybe they can justify it. But from an from a outsider's view, it's ridiculous. Here's a young man who runs, uh, does a huge amount of volunteer work. If I, if I go into the volunteer work, he says he'll be embarrassed. He's also a leader of youth groups. And he, he had what to do with Christians who know this group and what to do with former members of their group. So just whatever you want to say. <laughs> I'm an Israeli kid in Israel, in Jerusalem. And I got to know many people that need a lot of help and didn't really have anybody to help them. Even government organizations or charities, they couldn't help them. They didn't. Nobody wanted to help them. They were too, too, too big of outcasts to help them. And I saw the organization. They, they came, came. They weren't afraid. They went to drug addicts. They went to all these sort of people that really needed the help. And they still helped them. And I never saw anybody else help them. And the only reason anybody would have to try and denounce and like go against some, an organization like theirs is because they have a feeling that they're maybe a bit too Jewish. It's unpure that someone would be too Jewish. And the only reason... The only reason they have a really big problem with an organization like this is they, they themselves hate Jews. They, they only want Judaism for Jews. They, they, don't, they don't actually have any love for Judaism. They're anti-Semites. They were always anti-Semites. They're just better at speaking. That, that's all. I saw people that used to be in the organization and they went for full Orthodox conversion and they became model Israeli citizens. And again, there, there's no reason to denounce this, the organization. It's purely out of anti-Semitism. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Tada Rabba, Chag Sameach. Amen.